Hey guys, here's some fun that I packed to my farm for. Oh my god, dude, will you shut up? You have said the same lines for like 10 minutes where I looted your store. My god. That's all he was saying, turn the place up. You, you finished turn the place up now? We moved you the whole time? That is, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, just in case I need speech or whatever. The dress, black rim, formal hat. I'll also take off my bandana. So I look like a civilized person. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Why don't you is it over? Well, I could have gone worse. <laughs> I dunno. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course I suppose you ain't gotta worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. <sighs> I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. Tomorrow will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now. Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me and her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look. I like her accent. It's been making me careless. My top three. Oh, I mean. You finally hit the floor. All right? Just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. My top three favorite accents. England, the English, English, England. British, British, Russian, and Australian. Those are my top three faves. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus, point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Then get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy. You don't have to tell me. I guess you just didn't want me that when you want to head out. Tommy. Can't say I miss the crowds. I sure miss the caps. Alright, so we got a new companion. Kate, the Australian fighter from well, the Commonwealth. 
And I guess from what I've heard, she's a drug addict. Well, I will Hey, so you ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Don't look at me that way. Dirty little mole rat. Would you call my dog, you fucking bitch? Alright, Tommy. Hey, hey. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Get out of here. How dare you call my husky? Until a little moment, you drug addict, you son of a bitch. So we got a new companion. Yeah. Ah. Okay. And this companion seems to be a druggie. She could fire, but she enhances her skill by using drugs. Now, where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, sports. People do that. Some get caught. Some don't. Alright, what should we do? Oh, I always do that. What should we do now? Um... Yeah, let's... Oh, we have to... Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, we have to find more info in the fort. Alright, we can do that. If I know we needed more info, I was staying. Can we go back in through the room? Pretty sure we can. Unlimited friends is so helpful. Oh, I am. Come on, boy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come on, boy. Come on, come on. That's it. Come on. Hey. Over here. That's it. Mm. 
Ping. What's up? I'm right. Oh, really? There was more on this terminal? Huh. Oh. Well, if I had known that, maybe I, I shouldn't be more diligent in my searches. Now, how are we going to get to the incident? Going up. Ah, okay, now, now we go in there. Swana, Swana, I'm fine, Swana. Get you a Swana here. Ooh, that one's got nails. Oh boy. Nice piece you got there. Just keep it holstered. Did you tell me what to do? Alright, we'll go in there and sell. Sell everything off screen. I got a message. took my baby. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. Me kidding. Oh. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. There's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Alright, well, I'm out of time, so peace out. Hope to see you all next episode.